Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video. Sorry about the get up. I overestimated how much free time I had today. So I'm filming this like 10 minutes before I have to go to my cheer team's Christmas party. So hopefully we can get this all done. Hopefully. <laughs> In today's video, I am going to show you what all of my dolls are wearing for Christmas. I only changed my 18 inch dolls because the Welly Wishers don't have any like Christmas clothes. So they're not included in this, we're only doing the 18 inch dolls, but you still get to see their cute outfits, so it's okay. I know this is a little bit different than my usual style of like what my dolls are wearing videos. I'm pre-filming like a bunch of videos this week, so I'm trying to make them as like minimal effort <laughs> as I can, and doing voiceovers and all that just takes too much work. So we're doing it this way, hopefully you can stick with me on it. We're going to be starting with my first doll, which is Madison, and moving all the way through, and I'll show you all their outfits, leading all the way up to my newest doll, which is Becca. Without any further ado, I will get into the video, because I don't want this intro to be too long. So, starting off with Madison, she is wearing what she's always worn since I was a little kid, which is this red Our Generation dress. This is her Christmas outfit. It will always be her Christmas outfit. It was her Christmas outfit every year when I was little. It will be her Christmas outfit every year until I stop collecting. With that dress, she is wearing these American Girl Mary Jane shoes. I'm not sure which outfit they're from, but American Girl is really so many Mary Jane shoes. I don't think it matters. And in her hair is just this cute little butterfly clip. Next up, we have Leonie, who desperately needs to have her limbs restringed, but that is a story for another day. Her outfit is very cute. She's matching with Tegan, who you will see later. And she's wearing this cardigan from Cypher Crimson, this red shirt, not sure where it's from, Luciana's meat belt, the skirt from Molly's meat outfit, these white socks, and these maple leaf boots. And I think she looks adorable. I, she's so cute. I love this outfit on her. Next up, we have my pink girl, Bryn, who is obviously wearing pink. Um, she's wearing this little number. This and this are from some American Girl outfit. I can't remember which one, but it's so cute. This like sparkly pink dress and these boots. This sweater is from Michaels and her hair is just in a little bun with this ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I think she looks so cute. Very pink, very Bryn but also very festive. It's kind of reminding me of the current um, mix and match outfits from American Girl. I'm sorry if I'm going through these kind of fast, by the way. Again, I'm on kind of a time crunch, but <laughs> yeah. And here is Levi. He definitely looks like he could be somebody's like father in this outfit. <laughs> He's wearing the boy Christmas outfit from either 2018 or 2019. I think 2019. And He's wearing the wrong shoes. I think the shoes that Caden is wearing is supposed to go with this outfit, but oh well. He still looks so cute and Christmassy, and I love this sweater on him. He looks very sophisticated. He doesn't normally look like that. <laughs> Here is Noelle, and I think you can tell Noelle is one of the last dolls I changed because their outfit is not as good as some of the others, but that's fine. They are wearing a Maple Leaf cardigan, this gray shirt, not sure where it's from, this like plaid skirt, also not sure where it's from, the American Girl Truly Me meat shoes, and I just did their hair with like this little side ponytail thing with a Build-A-Bear bow. It's cute. It looks like the hair reminds me of my hair on Christmas when I was little. <laughs> Next up, we have Shiloh, and this outfit was definitely an outfit that was really good in my head but not very well executed once I like actually put it together <laughs> but that's fine she's wearing this our generation skirt these tights are journey girl Yvette's meat boots the shirt is from six star doll co you might know her as six star doll studio here on youtube and this sweater was handmade by my grandmother for my mom's dolls when she was younger so that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, she's definitely lacking. It was really cute in my head. Looks really bad once I actually put it together. <laughs> Here is Caden, who also looks like he could be somebody's father. Um, <laughs> he is wearing the shirt and the pants from the 2020 boy Christmas outfit. You can see the suspenders. 
this top piece is from Mary Ellen's sledding outfit and the shoes are I think from the outfit that Levi's wearing. I think I accidentally messed up their shoes but he looks so cute. Next up is Eloise who is looking very Eloise. This is a very Eloise outfit. She's not one to dress up for much. She's wearing a build a shirt, some black leggings, ignore the maple leaf. I was gonna switch her leggings with the like plain black leggings I have but I totally forgot to do that so my bad and these red converse like shoes from maple leaf here we have what is probably one of my favorites and that is gwen's outfit her hair is a little messy looking right now but gwen looks so cute also her glasses are broken so ignore the fact that they're crooked but this is gwen's outfit she is wearing a gray sweater from my life as this skirt from the christmas mix and match line last year these gray tights, which are from Blair's collection, I believe, and these boots, which are from the World Traveler Ireland outfit. For her hair, I just put in these two little pigtails with some ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and she looks so cute. So many people on Instagram have been like really liking this outfit, so proud of myself on that one. <laughs> Here is Willow. She is wearing pretty much the Winter Magic outfit, just without the neck thing, and she's wearing different tights, but other than that, She's wearing the Winter Magic outfit. I think it looks so cute on Joss. I don't know. Something about it is just very fitting for Joss, which is funny because she's like a summer themed girly ear doll, but she looks good in a winter outfit. Here we have Layla and you'll have to ignore the flyaways in her hair. I really have to fix her curls and the flyaways, but I just haven't done that right now. Her outfit, I don't really know if I like this for Christmas. I took inspiration from the blue something navy dress, sort of, because I know a lot of people have been using that as a Christmas dress, and I was like, well, this looks kind of like it. Like, I could I could use this. It doesn't look, doesn't look that good, but she's wearing this outfit from Pacific Doll Co. or Alley Cat Loves AG here on AG Tube, and the shoes are from the coconut, coconut play outfit, coconut fun outfit. One of the coconut outfits. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Here is Scarlet, and I love her hair. It's so cute. Scarlet is wearing this gold My Life As dress with these boots from the Western Chic outfit from American Girl. The boots don't really go with the dress, but I was running out of shoes, so you'll have to ignore that. And then her hair is just these two pigtails with these really pretty gold and white bows that I thought really matched the outfit because there's like gold and gold and yeah she looks so cute here is max his outfit is kind of giving like he didn't want to dress up for christmas but his mom made him <laughs> he's wearing molly's meat sweater these jeans from etsy i cannot remember which shop i'm so sorry and the american girl of today converse that i feel like everyone and their mom owns here we have may and if you keep up with my community tab you've seen may's outfit already May is wearing the Christmas pajamas from 2020 and she looks so cute and then she has a little Santa hat. This is a, I can show you, this is like a little claw clip thing that I got from the dollar store and it just makes a cute little tiny doll hat and I think she looks so cute in this. After May we have Celeste who is very much giving Mrs. Claus. I love this outfit. This is another outfit I really need to take photos of Celeste in before Christmas time is done but she's wearing this shirt which is Maple Lee the skirt which is Maple Lee they didn't come together they came separately but they go really well together a vet's meat belt Grace's meat shoes and this Santa hat which is from Build-A-Bear and I think yeah this is probably my favorite this year. It looks so cute. She looks like a little Santa Claus. Here we have Tegan, who, like I said, is sort of matching with Leonie. I wanted to make an outfit that showcased the blue on her hair. Um, her hair is very messy at the moment. Ignore that. I wanted to make an outfit that really showcased the blue in her hair, so I dressed her in blue, obviously. She is wearing a cardigan from Cypher Crimson. This top, which I got as a freebie from my... Etsy package I ordered from Six Star Doll Co. This skirt, which is from the I Like Your Style outfit, and these blue American Girl flats. I'm not really sure which outfit they're from, they're pretty old. And for her hair, it's this white headband, and I tried to like make it so all the black hair was like 
at the back and the blue hair was at the front to like really showcase the blue hair. I don't know how well I succeeded with that because it's not the best looking, but oh well. Hello, me popping in. I'm sorry for the like entryway to heaven that is right beside me here, but I wanted to pop in really quick in the middle of the video because that's just what I do and let you know that I've been nominated in the Sparkle Awards for four different categories and I would really love to win them. So I thought I would come in in the middle of the video, get your attention, be like, hey, do this for me, please. So in the AG Tube category, I've been nominated for best lifestyle content. And on the AGIG category, I've been nominated for best non-American doll collector, best photography under 5k and most creative under 5k so if you could please click the link in the description below and vote for me for those categories and vote for some of my friends for the other categories as well that they're nominated for that would be amazing thank you so much i'll get out of your hair now and you can get back to the video <laughs> here is zia she looks so cute this is another fan favorite on instagram I posted a picture of her in this and people like went crazy. She looks so cute. She does look like one of Santa's elves. Her and Celeste are like working together. Like she's Santa, she's the elf. <laughs> she's wearing this very cute skirt from Build-A-Bear and it didn't really fit. So there's just safety pins in the back to make it fit. You can sort of see there's like, yeah. Um, but she looks really cute in it. For her top, she is wearing Corinne's meat sweater. These tights are from the Winter Magic outfit. These boots are from American Girl. I think they're just boots that you could just like buy on their own at some point. And she has another one of those Santa clips in her hair and she looks so cute. She looks like a little elf. <laughs> We're getting down to the last three. Here is Piper. I never really dressed my dolls like historically accurate, but I was really mad that Claudie didn't have a Christmas dress this year. So I put her in this one. This is a kit Christmas dress, I think, and it looks so cute. And she's wearing just black Mary Janes. I think these are from Molly's Meat Outfit. And yeah, she just looks so cute. I never make my dolls historically accurate, but I just, I felt like I had to, you know? Cause Claudia didn't get a Christmas dress and I felt bad. So here she is in her somewhat historically accurate Christmas dress. Second to last, we have Carmen. Carmen is my little like vintage thrifty girl. So she's wearing Molly's Christmas outfit. Meg over at Bugs Dolls, she talked about this too. This bit sticks up and I cannot get it to go down. I don't know if that's just a problem with the dress or if me and Meg just have defected ones, but it's very annoying. And she's wearing Claudie's meat shoes with this. And her hair is just done up in this little like bun poof thing with these pieces at the front because i think it looks really cute i do the style on a vet a lot <laughs> and last but not least we have another one of my favorites becca she looks so stinking cute this again is a build-a-bear dress that i just used a really weird tech i'm not even going to show you um but i used a lot of safety pins and effort to get it to fit properly on her <laughs> and she just looks so cute her shoes don't really match but i was running out of shoes these are our generation shoes and her hair just has a little like golden red bow in it because it went with the golden red of her dress and I think it's so cute. This dress is so cute. I love it. It's it's so pretty. I also need to take photos of her in this before Christmas is done. But uh, yeah, with that being done, this is going to be the end of today's video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, do all the youtuber -y stuff. If you can comment, leave a comment. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. I would love to know. This is my last video before Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Happy whatever you celebrate, if you celebrate something else. Um, yeah, thank you so much for all the love and support this year. I am beyond grateful for it. And I really hope you just enjoy your holidays. Have yourself an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye!